Vivian Fulop and I welcome you to Vive Miami News, your source for what's happening in the cultural arts scene in Miami every week. We're presently at Art Winwood Art Fair during President's Day weekend, featuring more than 65 galleries, locals and abroad, and you have to take a look at this, it's wonderful. Art Winwood showcases iconic works from 20th and 21st century artists, dynamic projects with special installations from 60 international exhibitors. The fair will display work from the underground street movement, emerging young talent, and world-renowned contemporary and modern artists. Prominent collectors, curators, and art world luminaries from around the world come to this young fair happening in beautiful Miami. This season, Art Winwood features works by more than 500 artists representing almost two dozen countries and 38 cities. The freshness of modern and contemporary Latin American art has become trendy among collectors. One of most respected gallerists specialized in Latin American art is Cesar Segnini of Durman Segnini Gallery, presenting at Art Winwood a number of Latin American masters. Bueno, aquí en la feria, para esta feria, que es la quinta, la quinta edición de Art Winwood, hemos traído una muestra de valores fundamentales del arte latinoamericano, entre ellos Fernando de Chilo, que está aquí a mi espalda, eh, Pablo Alchugar, el escritor uruguayo, el maestro Manuel Feliguere, que está en la otra sala, Manolo Valdés, que es uno de los grandes escultores nacido en España, que tenemos una bóveda de madera afuera, y esto también Agustín Cárdenas y William Barbosa, que son escultores entre otros. Estamos contentos de estar aquí, esta es una feria que se hace con motivo del día del, día del, del presidente de Internet y que se hace para esta fecha, para mediados de febrero. Para nosotros es importante porque es el inicio de la actividad. Este año la galería está cumpliendo 25 años en Miami. Tenemos un conjunto de actividades a lo largo del año. Tengo la presentación de dos libros, un libro de poesía, un libro sobre la historia de la galería de Urbán. Y además una exposición individual de Fernando de Gislo y una que tenemos al final de Ramírez Villamizar, un escritor colombiano que nosotros representamos, que murió hace unos, varios años, que le hacemos una exposición para noviembre del próximo año. Cuban Art is a chief focus this year, as Coral Gables Museum has partnered with Art Winwood to highlight the exhibition Cuban Art in the 20th Century, which features artists Wilfredo Lam, Amelia Peláez, Armando Menocal, and René Portocarrero, among others. One of the main promoters of Cuban art in the United States is Ramón Cernuda, who has created one of the most important collections of Cuban art to date. Back in the early 1970s, we started collecting Cuban art, my wife and I, right out of college. And uh, we put together a collection of masters of the 20th century of Cuban art and also contemporary artists. That has been our dedication and our passion throughout these 40 plus years. It's been a, an adventure, it's been a ride, it's been a fantastic experience. We love what we do. And as an extension of our art collecting, 16 years ago we opened up our gallery that also specializes in Cuban art. Uh, here in this booth you will see the great masters of the 20th century modernist Cubans and also the great masters of contemporary Cuban art. That is what we bring to this fair, Art Winwood. We start with an exhibition of the founder of Cuban modernism, Victor Manuel Garcia, right by the entrance. And across Victor Manuel, you will find works by Mariano Rodriguez and Mario Carreño. And as you walk into the booth, you see works by René Portocarrero and also works by Wilfredo Lam. These are the top names 
of Cuban art of the 20th century. The younger artists, the contemporary artists, artists like Roberto Favelo and Manuel Mendive and Dairon Gonzalez and Miguel Florido and others that are still alive and producing great work. As things have changed in the bilateral relations between Cuba and the United States, more Americans are going to Cuba and they are visiting the museums in Cuba so they become much more familiar with these masters and their important creations. So we've seen a growth in interest and in collecting by the American public and the European public also. Art Winwood specializes in showcasing emerging contemporary artists. Monica Art of Lassiter Fine Art has caught our eye with her beautiful complex layered creations. The piece behind me, uh, Shoshone, the buffalo or American bison, is a multi-layer. Uh, each layer is uh, painted, hand painted, uh, one of a kind. I spend months with small brushes, um, metals, diamond dust, mixed uh, sand textures, and then I layer with a hand-fired resin, and then I paint again. This one has 12 layers for a 3D effect, um, sort of a hologram. Uh, I grew up with a, uh, my mother's an artist and classically trained, and she's a portrait painter, so I decided that I would take those skills to the animals and uh, put the classically trained portraits into the head and then the mixed media to the modern uh, today's world. This uh, entire series is called Tagged. Uh, traveled a good bit um, in Europe and I was kind of fascinated with the street art. And so I do have aerosols in the, and the backs of these are marked as tagged. But it's also for the animals to protect them. Each one is named after a national park. This is Shoshone, Olympia, um, and the Envil. Uh, each one is an animal that holds my heart, so I, I'm very proud of the series. Big art is very much in vogue in this fair, showcasing works by artists Julio Le Parc, Cruz Diez, Darío Pérez Flores, Jesús Soto, among others. We went to talk with renowned kinetic gallerist from Paris, Leila Murdoch. I met uh, kinetic art uh, with uh, the big panels, advertising panels in Paris when I was uh, 16. And there are those huge uh, uh, panels of Vasarelli and Ivara, and I always liked that. And in 1992, I saw light boxes from Garcia Rossi, who was an incredible Argentinian artist, and I began to work with him. And he was working with a group of visual arts, a group of teachers, included Julio Le Park, and that's how I met Julio Le Park and how I began to work with kinetic guard. I think that playing with light and with um, the effect of the light on the eyes and with how things can, you think it moves, but it doesn't move. You move, that's the principle of kinetic guard. It's one of the most uh, marvelous things uh, in the world because uh, it is alive and art has to be alive and uh, to be uh, a surprise, you know, every day it has to be a surprise. Vive Miami News recommends Art Winwood with a series of select exhibitions, concerts, and lectures during President's Day weekend, February 16th to 20th. Thank you for joining us at Vive Miami News. Remember to follow us at Facebook Vive Miami News with Vivian Fulop and to subscribe to our free weekly video and blog about arts and entertainment in Miami. And until next week, I will see you at these events.